Hello, welcome to welcome to Noah's News. Today's August eighth. A uh, smaller episode tonight. I'm gonna film quick because news got one movie announcement, one movie release date announcement, and a video game delay. But uh, before we get into any of that, we have I have an advertisement. I'm gonna show you. This is a real advertisement for a real product. Uh, so let's go. Let's go watch that. Let's go watch that, guys. Come on. Do you know who this is? What if I zoom it out? Now, do you know who this is? This is Pac-Man. The famous arcade game character. Look at him. Look at him go. Just, he's not going anywhere. He's in the picture. Uh, so today they announced that Pac-Man will be getting a live-action movie. It, they said it'll be like Sonic, like the Sonic movie. It will be a completely original story. So I don't really see how this could be one of the worst movies of all time, you know? Because uh, who doesn't want a live-action Pac-Man movie with an original story? I was kind of hoping they'd adapt the original arcade game into a movie, but I can see how they'd want to go in a different direction. It's going to be stupid. Sonic was dumb luck, which leads us into our next topic. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 got a release date. Look at that picture from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 got a release date of December 20th, 2024. Um, I hope it's good. I hope this one's good. I'm going to hopefully see it in theaters. I'm going to go. I'm going to go by myself. Not hopefully. I'm going to go. I'm going to buy my own ticket, and I'm going to go. My eyes itchy. Excuse me. Woo. Okay. First movie. The first Sonic movie. Half Chef's Kiss. I I really like that movie. I think it's a good movie. It's not incredibly good. It's good. It's a good movie. I'm not trashing it. I always feel like I'm trashing things when I'm not. It's a good movie. It's... I feel like it has a good balance with the human characters and Sonic. Because, you know, you're kind of interested... Personally, I think you're interested in both. Throughout the whole movie, you know? It's not like, ooh, there's Sonic and human guy. Wow. I think it's a good balance. I like how they did this first one. Then Sonic 2 came out. I was so excited for this movie. Man, I was dying. I was talking about it nonstop. I was watching all the trailers. Everything. Jeez. And um, I didn't get to see this one in the theaters. And then it goes to Paramount+. Plus. My friend comes over, and we are so excited. We are, so, look at this, so excited to watch this movie. And then we get uh, halfway through. We're watching it, and I'm just like, this is my face. I'm just like, because it sucks. Sonic 2 is bad. It's a horrible movie. Because this movie, it's not a good dynamic with animal and human. It's They're separate. So the humans are on an annoying subplot with some random wedding, and it sucks. And Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and Dr. Eggman are on a separate plot that's also annoying. Just... The good, the first movie I think is a good family film. It's enjoyable for all ages. Sonic Two blows. It is not. It is enjoyable for five year olds that don't understand the English language, because the jokes in this movie. It's I cannot remember, but because I didn't watch it, I watched it. We, me and my friend, got halfway through it and turned it off, and I made myself finish it that night, as a true movie pioneer would. And it's just bad. It's so bad. And I'm mainly bringing this up because I recently got ratioed on Twitter uh, because I said underneath the release date announcement for Sonic 3 that I didn't like uh, Sonic 2. I thought it was bad. I hope it's as good as Sonic 1 was. And people were like, this has got to be the worst take in history. Super Sonic was in the movie. Uh, Shadow and Knuckles. And there you go. You list three good things. Did you know movies can have good things? Did you know The Amazing Spider-Man 2 has fantastic visual effects and cinematography and is still one of the worst Spider-Man movies? No. Different tangent. We're going to cross... We're going to break off right here. I I love No Way Home, but the worst thing that movie did was convince people The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was good. Not really convinced, but people felt like they needed to be different. Um, going, we're erasing that little tangent. Oh, I scratched my nose. Like, this is me erasing it. 
Gone. Okay, back to Sonic 2. What was I talking about? I got ratioed on Twitter, yeah, people were like, Sonic 1 is... Sonic 1 is bad compared to Sonic 2, which is wrong. It's wrong. Sonic 2 sucks. It's like a movie for three-year-olds, and it's annoying constantly. And I, Jim Carrey is really good in the first movie. And in this movie, I think it's too much. It is way too much in this movie. Like, he's just nuts. Which, I like Jim Carrey as an actor. And he said this might be his last movie, which sucks. But... Which sucks because it's not a good movie. I think, I think he's a good actor, but he takes it way too far. Like he's on the hood of a car, like licking it and growling and barking in one scene. It's so weird and not good weird, not good funny weird. It was just kind of a moment. And that movie blows. There's a scene where they have a dance off with some Russian guy in a bar, and it sucks because it goes from it shows the the Russian dude dancing, and then it cuts to Sonic and Tails busting some moves. And it sucks, because it feels like two completely different scenes, one bad and one also equally bad. And the whole movie sucks. And what I got in response to that Twitter post was, Sup did Supersonic question mark? And people were like, I don't think we watched the same movies. I, yeah, I don't think we did. I don't know how you watched that, that, that mind-numbingly stupid movie and thought it was good. And yes, Supersonic was cool. He was in it for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And you're going to say the movie was good because... He was in it. And Shadow. Sorry, spoiler. Eh, Shadow's in the post credit scene. And it was, like, one of the worst post credit scenes I've ever seen. So Shadow the Hedgehog is cool. And they're like... The army guy shows up, and he's like, Bro, uh, we had some reports at this base. And the general's like, Oh my god, Project Shadow! Who came up with that name? They're a genius. That's That was a real good teaser. I mean, they fully show Shadow... But if they didn't, I probably wouldn't have known what they were talking about. Project Shadow? It's a real head-scratcher. Just kidding. It's stupid. That's all I have to say. Sonic 2 is an awful, genuinely bad movie. With good bits. Very few good bits. A movie can have good moments and still be bad. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. The Amazing Spider-Man 1. Well, that one's more just decent. I guess... Completely separate. Godzilla King of the Monsters. Bad movie, good moments. That's a different thing. It's too long. I'm getting on a tangent. I just ranted about Sonic for probably six minutes. Final bit of news. Uh, the Marvel game, new upcoming Marvel game, Midnight Suns, which was supposed to release in October, I believe, of this year. I didn't do any research. Got delayed until 2023. Now, you might have seen trailers for this game, or you might start seeing trailers for this game at some point. And you're going to see these super beautiful, well-animated CG cutscenes. And they're not going to show gameplay, because the gameplay sucks. You think it's a Midnight Suns game, which the Midnight Suns in the comic books, like Moon Knight, Blade, just the Punisher, like those kind of heroes, you know? And in the game, it's like all of the Avengers, Ghost Rider, Spider-Man, the Scarlet Witch, I think, I'm pretty sure Blade's in it. Moon Knight isn't in it as of yet, and they're just taking a bunch of Marvel characters and giving them black and gold suits and flames, and they're like, yep, this is the Midnight Sun. It's not. But back to my, um, this is just a whole rant. I'm going on this now. I was so excited for this game. I was like, new Marvel game? It's a card game. You got, you got, there's like a, a board where, like, there's your heroes and your, your enemies, and you control your hero, and you have them walk up to the enemy. I don't know, I'm gonna assume how this is go. Walk up, and then you get to select a card, and the character does an animation that hits the bad guy, and then it's the bad guy's turn, and he, that AI picks a move for him to do, and who thought, who goes, man, people really love superheroes. I mean, there's Really only some a few really good superhero games out there, you know, like the Batmans, your Spider-Mans, where people really get to control the heroes. So let's make a card game where you don't get to control the heroes at all. Oh wait, there's a picture of the Midnight Sun, there's just kind of a title image, Water Break. I've been talking too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks awful. I mean, look up gameplay, it just looks so boring if you 
it's a, like a, going to be a full price game, and I bet you there's going to be deluxe. I think there is deluxe editions that are like ninety or a hundred dollars. Why? Why? Who was like? We could give them like a. We should make a Midnight Suns game, but I bet instead of doing the actual heroes that are on the team with an interesting game where you you know maybe swap between heroes. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so fed up right now. My nose is itchy. I get angry. And I don't know what to do with my hands, so I just keep scratching my face. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. I'm going to try and wrap this up, which means I'm going to go for another five minutes. It looks like an awful game, and what's what's scummy, what's scummy about it is they keep marketing, they keep just releasing these super cool trailers. They keep releasing these really good CG cutscenes, and they're like, wow, look at this. Like, they did a, a couple, like a month or... Start of the summer, there's a gaming live stream. And they're like, we're gonna show you some Midnight Suns. It's been a while. Look at here's a new look at Midnight Suns, and they showed a cinematic trailer, and then put the gameplay trailer on Twitter. So not as it was a really big deal. It was like Summer Game Fest, and they just threw the gameplay trailer on Twitter because not as many people would have seen it, and not a lot of people did. I don't even, I, I looked it up. I never heard about the trailer. I just looked it up because I was, like, scrolling through replies underneath the cinematic trailer. They're like, you have to go to this Twitter account. And it was, like, some, like, game informer or something. And they had the exclusive gameplay trailer. So they just put it at some random news website to... So nobody would see it. And they just showed, like, a million people... Or th not a million, like, thousands of people this super fancy cinematic trailer. Ooh... Garbage. All garbage. Sonic 2, garbage. Midnight Suns video game, garbage. I'm I'm in a ranty mood. So, earlier, I stated the good Batman games. The Batman Arkham series. They're coming out with a new Batman game that's set in a different universe where it's like, Batman, Batman's dead. So now the Red Hood, Batgirl, Robin, and Nightwing have to protect Gotham. And everyone's like, this game's gonna be awesome. Four-player multiplayer with Arkham Combat, because Arkham is really known... All those games are known for their good combat. That really nice, fluid combat. And everyone's like, this game's gonna be awesome, yeah! And they keep releasing gameplay, and it keeps getting worse. It kind of looks like the Avengers game, which was a bad multiplayer superhero game. But with DC characters, yay! And they're coming out with a Suicide Squad... Suicide Squad kill the justice league and that's also four player multiplayer and there hasn't been much gameplay but it looks like it's going to be better than was actually in the arkham universe like way probably like way in the future but also not that far in the future uh it's just <sighs> gotham knights that weird cw tv show look up that trailer that looks bad uh, Gotham Knights video game looks bad. Red Hood is, he has guns. He has two friggin' pistols, and he's like, <laughs> and, um, in the game, they did a gameplay trailer just for the Red Hood, and they were like, look at this. He has non-piercing rounds. Or non-lethal, he uses non-lethal rounds. But he has a super move where his bullets do piercing damage. So they have, he's using non-lethal piercing bullets. I didn't even know those existed, isn't that insane? So, like, if you got just riddled with bullets in the chest, they'd go straight through you. Out of his gun, specifically, they'd go just whoosh, straight through you, but you wouldn't feel a thing because they're not lethal. Might They might tickle, but... Uh, at least he looks cool, and the combat looks so janky. Like, it's like... Arkham's good because it's like the animations all, like, flow together, and the Gotham Knights, they, like, punch somebody, and they stop, and then they very obviously go into a different animation. They should hear me out, make single-player superhero games. I feel like that's what people want, right? Like, Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4, Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins, Arkham Knight. Boom, five good superhero games. Spider-Man Miles Morales, Spider-Man 2, that comes out next year. The people that make the Spider-Man games are making a single-player Wolverine game. Perfect. That's perfect. EA is making a Black Panther game and maybe making an Iron Man game. They're single player. Perfect. EA is not known well for their games, but they released Jedi Fallen Order, which people liked. I didn't like that game. We're on a whole tangent today. I don't like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I thought it was boring. 
it's like you keep getting stronger throughout the whole game, but so does all of your enemies. So you're just your lightsaber feels like a like a like a really big glowing stick. It just doesn't do anything. As your lightsaber gets more powerful, you get the enemies do too, so it cancels out. And just traveling across all the planets on your feet sucked, and I didn't like it, so I didn't play it that much. That's all my rants. This was supposed to be quick, but it's not. I don't have a lot of editing to do, so I'm just gonna freaking upload it, man. I'm just gonna title it Big Rant About Things. That's the title of this episode. Noah's News, Episode 7, Big Rant About Things. Thank you for watching. I'll see you when there's a little bit more news to you.